Loom is a free video recording and screen sharing software for teams or individuals looking to effortlessly create shareable recordings. Loom ultimately allows you to enhance training activities, education and productivity within your business. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back and if it's your first time popping along to this channel, thanks for joining me. Now today I'm going to dive into a brief Loom tutorial and share how you can simply use Loom to create free video and screen recordings quickly and with ease. Okay, so before we go ahead and get started, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and dive into this Loom tutorial. <music> Okay, so to get started with Loom for free so that you can start creating free video and screen recordings that you can then simply share with your team, with your customers and other contacts, simply head over to your browser and type in loom.com and that's going to take you to this landing page. And then navigate down and click on get Loom for free. Then go ahead and sign up with the best option that works for you. It only takes a few clicks to sign up with Loom. So go ahead, sign up, and we'll meet you inside your free Loom account. Okay, so here we are inside my free Loom account. Now, before I go ahead and dive into the process of creating free video and screen recordings, it's important to mention some of the benefits and limitations of the free plan. With the free plan, you can collaborate with up to 50 team members, and your video recordings will be limited to five minutes. With a paid plan, you can remove the Loom branding from your videos and you can also record in high definition. However, the free plan is sufficient enough to get you started. If you realize you need access to more advanced features, you can always upgrade at any time. Okay, so let's navigate through our account. If we navigate over to the left hand sidebar, we can go ahead and invite people to join us on Loom. These could be team members that we want to collaborate with and allow them to create Looms as well. Below invite team members we have our home dashboard and below home we have our library. If we click on the library, within our library we can view, create and manage all our different looms. So for example on this account you can see a few different looms that I've already created. We can navigate over to this share icon and we can go ahead and copy the link and send this to our contacts. We can also navigate up to these three dots, more actions, and come down and again we can go ahead and share, rename this loom. We can also move this loom to a folder, for example, if we want to better manage our looms. Below this, we can duplicate this loom, archive, post, and download, and also delete this particular loom. And with each of our looms, we can see the different types of engagement that our looms have had. And then if we navigate back over to the left hand side again, we have notifications. And this allows you to identify if particular people have watched your loom. For example, if you created a loom as a training video and you sent that to a team member or a potential team member, then you want to ensure that they have watched your loom. And then we have history below notifications. If we navigate up to the search bar, we can quickly find people, tags, folders and looms. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back over to library. And again, this is where we can manage our looms. Now, there are a few ways that you can quickly create a loom. Remember, creating looms is a great way to streamline our productivity. And one way that Loom allows us to quickly create looms is by downloading the Chrome extension. So if you use Chrome as your browser, what you can do is download the Loom extension. What I'll do is add a link in the description below this video that will take you to this landing page where you can install the Chrome extension. Okay, so before I dive into the Chrome extension, we can simply navigate over to New Video. And we can come down and record a new video or we can upload a video. If I click on record a video, and as you can see, that's going to generate this information in the top right hand corner. As you can see, we've got screen and camera selected. If I navigate down to the bottom left hand corner, you can see my camera is on down here. Now, if I navigate up to screen and camera and click here, I'm going to go ahead and click on screen only. 
And as you can see, if I navigate down to the bottom left hand corner, you can now see my video has been replaced with my profile avatar. I can also navigate down and change this photo if I like. And then below that, I can choose to resize this image or video down here. I can also make it extra large if I like, but I like to keep it smaller so it doesn't disrupt the user's experience when they're watching our looms. You also have the option to reposition this image. Again, we can click on screen only and we have the option to select screen and camera again or camera only. I'm happy with screen only because I want to create a loom about a responsive issue I'm having on my website that I need to send to my web developer in order to fix. And I can choose to record a current tab or the full desktop screen. Below this, I can create a recording canvas. This is where I can add a background and I can add text to my screen. However, I simply want to create a recording of my screen. Then down here, you want to make sure that your mic is set up correctly in order to record your voiceover. We're going to keep this off for the purpose of today's tutorial. And then when you're ready to start recording, simply click start recording. Now we can also exit out of this by clicking out of the screen. And the other way to quickly create a loom is with the loom extension in your Chrome browser. So for example, let's say that I have a responsive issue with my website. So what I'm going to do is head over to the homepage of my website. And here I am on my website. Now let's say I've identified a responsive issue. So I want to quickly create a loom about this issue on my website. And then I'm going to quickly share this with my developer. This is just an example of how you can quickly use loom. So what I would do is simply navigate up to the Chrome extension, the loom extension. And that's going to generate this information. I'm happy with screen only, current tab. And what I would do is make sure that I have a mic selected. But because I'm recording a recording for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and click start recording. Then click yes, proceed. And as you can see, that's going to start a countdown and the loom has just started. If we navigate down to the bottom, you can see the options down here. For example, finish the recording. We can also restart the recording. We can pause the recording or delete this particular recording. Now, what I would do is obviously navigate through this website and I would say, hey, developer, look, thanks for joining me on this loom. You can see that this is not very responsive. Can you please make sure that this landing page is responsive on desktop, tablet, as well as on mobile device? OK, so that's just an example. And then what I would do when I'm ready to complete this loom is simply click stop. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and created my new screen recording. I can simply navigate up here and click play in order to preview this screen recording. If I navigate over to the right hand side, I can review the transcript as well as check out the video preferences. I can trim and add clips to this video. So for example, if there was a bit of fluff at the beginning of this video, then what I can do is trim the start of this video before sending it to the developer. Then down here, I can add a call to action and change the thumbnail. This is if I wanted to add a thumbnail for this video. Then if we navigate down, we can come down and add a title to this loom. And once I've added a title, I can also navigate down and add a description and add tags. Now, if you create multiple looms, you might want to add tags to better manage all your different looms in case you ever want to use this loom again in the future. Then when you're happy with your new loom, simply navigate up to the top and you can click on copy link. And that's going to copy the link to this loom and you can share that with the contact customer or team member that you want to share this loom with. You can also navigate over to share and click here and enter the email address of the individual you want to share this loom with. You can also change the privacy settings and you can also post to Stuart Gould, which means everyone that's part of your loom will be able to see this loom. Then if we navigate up to social, we can connect Loom with other platforms in order to quickly share our Looms across different channels. And then we have Embed up here. And we can go ahead and we can copy the embedded code and embed this Loom onto a website if we like. Okay, so what I'll do is exit out of this and then navigate up to these three dots. And again, we have these basic options up here. Now, what I'll do is show you what this Loom will look like when a potential customer, a team member or a contact opens up the link and views this loom recording.
And as you can see, this is exactly what a recipient will see when they click on the link that will take them to this Loom recording. They can simply go ahead and watch this Loom video and they can also leave a comment and a reaction down here. They can also simply navigate up to the left hand side or the top right hand corner and go ahead and get Loom for free. So for my example, I was sending this Loom recording to my developer in order to fix an issue on my website. And all the developer would do is go ahead and watch this and see exactly what they need to do. Now you can see this process of creating a Loom allows you to replace physical meetings or even online meetings via Skype, Zoom or any other platform through leveraging Loom. Again, you can see how you can use Loom for training purposes. For example, you can create one Loom video and then you can share this video multiple times. You can also add particular Looms in different locations online for people to access. So it's a great way to educate people as well as for training and to quickly communicate and record issues to send to your customers and to quickly enhance communication with any type of activity. So just like that guys, that is how you can use Loom to quickly and easily create video recordings and screen recordings that you can then share with anyone that you like. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Loom tutorial. Now if you have any questions about using Loom, make sure you pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.